This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That cross touch. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a live broadcast of Sway and the Olympiads here on Shade 405. Joining us this morning, ladies and gentlemen, from the University of Southern Mississippi, coming all the way from Brazil with the bronze medal in the 200 meter dash, a silver medal in the 100 meter dash, and a gold medal in the 4x100 meter relay. The one and only Tory Bowie, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> She's here, ladies and gentlemen. She's here. <laughs> Houseway. <laughs> Not even trying to be funny. <laughs> Houseway. Really? I, got, I got Tori. First of all, um, congratulations. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you, Tori, for bringing me what will be rightfully mine had I pursued my track and field ventures. You know what? She got a gold, a bronze, and a silver. They That's look, so pretty all yes. together like that. This is so beautiful. Congratulations. What what Thank is you. what what is I mean, geez. Who are you now? You're different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still Tory. You still Tory? You still Tory? Oh yeah, I'm still Tory. Um you've been running track since I'm um, a youth, right? Or how old were you first started? Seventh grade, and I think seventh grade, you're what normally twelve. Okay, 12th I'm grade. lying. Tenth grade. Tenth right. grade. grade. That's when yeah. you started. So you're about what, 15? 15. 14, 14 yeah. or 15. Yeah. yeah. Right? When you started running, did you dream of this or you just ran because it was something to do? You know, honestly, I didn't even know anything about the Olympics until 2012. Really? Yeah. That's when I first, you know, saw it on the TV and, you know, I was like, oh my God. So that's what I want to do. So. <laughs> and you just pointed at it. And, and, so you could just point, you like Michael Jackson. She could just point at stuff and it's hers. Broken it into existence. Broken it into existence. Broken into existence, though. Yeah. You're right. God, man. Where, where did you grow up? I grew up in Mississippi. Mm hmm. What, big family? Hold on, let me take these medals off. <laughs> yeah, give her, you mean give her her medals back? <laughs> there you go. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, okay, Thank here, you. Here, 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 pass yeah. them around. We're going to do a. Uh... <laughs> Show and tell right here. Okay. Mississippi. Yep. So I've basically been, I was born there and raised there my entire life. Okay. Grandmother raised you? Or? Yes. My yes. grandmother. Did I see her on TV or something? Did, did they do a yeah, little I'm pretty sure you did. They yeah. did like an NBC piece on her. Yeah. yeah. And now she's a celebrity. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's a celeb. She was the one that told you not to worry about boys, right? Okay. Yeah. That's what a grandmother's supposed to do. Okay. Uh, were y'all rich? Really? Um, <laughs> no, not even close. Maybe rich in spirits, but uh, yeah. 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 I go not on, even close. Not even close. Yeah. Um, can you imagine uh, Sunday dinners growing up in Mississippi? What was that like? Absolutely amazing. I'm going yeah. to Mississippi tomorrow. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, I'm ready to eat. So um, <laughs> that's what I was saying. The grits must be banging. The fish and the grits and yeah. the, man, the food just must be good. Yeah, I'm I'm missing it right now. You missing so. it? Hell yeah. Did she make hot water cornbread or you know about that? Of course I do. Oh. I mean, I don't eat cornbread unless it's homemade. You know? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. Uh, well, welcome to the show, Tori. I'm really um proud. You know, I'll go ahead and. <laughs> Share my story with you a little bit. I'm, not, I'm ready to hear yeah, all it's about it. It's not always about the guests. It's about <laughs> us, too. Okay. Um, yeah, Tori, I, I, I grew up running AAU track, you know, AAU in um, Oakland, California. And, um, you know, I was definitely set. I was destined to become an Olympic athlete. Um, at one point, I ran in uh, junior high, too, in and, and high school and, and in one year of college where I was a Northern California regional champion. You know, in the 400 meter yes, hurdles. Me. Yes, yes. And, um, <laughs> you know, hip hop called me away. So I wasn't able to to, to finish my journey. Uh, so every time I see an Olympic athlete, I live vicariously through them. And so I just want to thank you for fulfilling my destiny. Thank you, Tori. <laughs> Appreciate you. Oh 
You're all right with me. Yeah. Yeah. No medals or nothing. No. He has ribbons, you said, right? Yeah, I got ribbons. <laughs> <laughs> the medals are not on there, Tori. I wanted to ask you, though, Tori, like, coming from, you know, just ribbons. Hey, Tori, for, for, wait, wait, Tori, are you laughing at me, Tori? Tori laughing That's at the me? way she said it. Oh, okay. Not, a, not, not at like, Tori was laughing at me. He got fabric. Yeah. He got the ribbon. Um, growing up in Mississippi and, and obviously coming from where you come from, we feel that spirit and we understand that place. I think we all know that place. And girls like me from my hood, we all ran because you just fast. It's like right. you're in the hood. You just know how to run and running from boys, so to speak, and, and that kind of stuff. And then you hear about the pin relays maybe. And that's like a big step. You know, if you could get to that point. How was it for you? And like, how did you stay positive and focused coming from where you come from, not knowing anything about the Olympics and just sort of like dodging the pitfalls and the pregnancies and different things, you know, in order for you to stay on that podium one day? I mean, my, my mindset is just, I mean, I always just think forward, you know, I don't ever think about like what has happened or, you know, um, everything that has went wrong, you know, I'm always focused on what it is I need to be doing. And, you know, that just kind of, um, it just kind of blocks me from thinking about everything that I've been through, everything that's going on. Your grandmother just kept praying with you and staying prayed up, huh? All right. Yeah. <laughs> that's dope. That's dope. Like, what, what kind of things you've gone through? Like, you say everything you've been through. You're still young. Like, you know, mm -hmm. did you rob a bank or something? <laughs> or, 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 or? The criminal, Tori? Not quite. Not a criminal path? <laughs> Y'all ever was homeless? Or? Well, I wasn't. I've never been homeless. Uh-huh. Um, but, you know, I did grow up. I, I was in foster care, and, you know, that's why my, my mm -hmm. grandmother rescued me from foster care, actually. So, uh -huh. wow. Um, and, you know, my sister and I, we were actually separated in two different homes. And, um, you know, I think that's one of the reasons why we our relationship is... Oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, she's like my best friend, and um, I mean, I mean, my life. I don't like to complain, but you know, like I said before, you know, I was into drugs, and mm -hmm. I was actually selling them, and you know, so I was living a com my lifestyle was just different, mm -hmm. and you know, it just finally got to the point where I realized that you know, this won't last long, mm -hmm. or I won't last long here. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, you know, just had to. Figure out what it is I want to do in my life. That's, not, that's interesting. Is that how, like, uh, did you obtain your speed running from the cops when you were selling drugs? <laughs> that's why you got to be so fast? Oh, Get man, away. we could have a killer Olympic team in Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> man, is that what the secret is? <laughs> Dave Chappelle did the Hood Olympics before. <laughs> Whatever gets the job done. Get it done. What were you it selling, done. though? We Coke? What were you selling? <laughs> Bricks. Yeah, Are we allowed to talk about this? I'm, I asked again. Yes, <laughs> <It's a> Blueberry <laughs> Kush. What was you? <laughs> Diesel. <laughs> oh, good point. Good point. I won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Her manager yeah. Cynthia's like, yo, yo, hey, chill, chill. What just got to do with the gold? Right. Well, right. they got gold, a gold weed strand in Cali. So that's so, so, No, okay. <laughs> Tori. Silver haze? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Tori, like, leave me alone, Sway. Go right. home tomorrow. Hey, but you know what? Um, there are a lot of people who take that route because you don't see any other alternatives. Right. And, and what they say you're supposed to do and how it's supposed to reward you doesn't happen. School might not pay bills or you may not be able to afford school. And you got these immediate issues, so you go to a, a life of crime. And then a lot of folks get stuck in that rut. And don't understand that, you know, this isn't the only life you have to choose. There are options. You just got to put that down and walk away. And I think what you've done is a fine example of someone who could walk away from a challenging situation, turn their lives around at such a young age, yeah. and become an Olympic gold medalist. Man, that's the American dream the right there, Tori. That's the American <laughs> dream. No, that's, and that's, go, that's good. That's good. So you're going to be a, you're a fine example of what can be. At least I try to be. <laughs> yeah. And then when we come back, I'm going to take some phone calls, 888-742-3345. I think I might want to get into the starting blocks with Tori and, and see. Oh, who. Gosh. You don't think so? No. Bad idea. Uh, Shay 4-5. We'll talk about it. Good morning, Shay 4-5. Olympic gold medalist, silver medalist, bronze medalist. Tori Bowie is here. What's that last name from? 
Do you know? You know the heritage of your last I, name? I honestly don't know. Um, yeah. And I haven't asked. So. <laughs> you never asked. Okay. Okay. I want to know, Tori was saying um, about her college. I, I want to know, since you shared with us you were in foster care, how does a person go from foster care to a scholarship in, in college? How, how did that happen? You know, it was just kind of like it was meant to be. Um, so I was doing a few a few meets um, in Mississippi, mm-hmm. and it's like some of the, the college coaches were coming out and observing. To watch the meets. Right, mm-hmm. to just watch the meets. And then all of a sudden, you know, coaches were walking up to me, and they were like, hey, I think you could run in college and this and that. And I'm like, well, you know, I don't even know anything about college. But um, it just kind of got to the point that what they told me it would be free. And, you know, I talked to my grandmother about it, and she was like, no. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's just just kind of how um, everything happened. Tori, how has the um, interaction of, like, teammates and other competitors been throughout your career? Because I remember my sister, she did track, and a lot of times when she went to meets, it was a lot of hate with the other girls on the team. Or even sometimes when it comes down to someone's got to get a silver or bronze, and sometimes it can get crazy on your own team. Have you ever experienced some type of tension with other girls? Um, I think it's it's normal, but I mean, I'm the type of person that I just I just tend to um, stay in my own little world, my own little zone, and um, so I tend so it doesn't affect me as much. Mm. It's track hate <laughs> a, a ton, but you know. Um, Everybody? It's all about how you handle it. Yeah, yeah when I was how running. How was it for okay, you? Yeah, okay, thank you. Tori, I'll take it from here, Tori. Okay, you okay, take okay, it. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's extremely competitive, you know. So mm-hmm. even though you have friends, when it's individual races, everybody wants to go. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure you admired um, uh, the girls from Jamaica. Um, of course. Shelly and, and Lane Thompson. And, La- and Lane Thompson. Mm-hmm. And those girls are the fastest girls on the planet, mm-hmm. next to Tori and one or two others. Mm-hmm. And... Um, and they were favored. Mm-hmm. So, you know, here you have this young lady from Mississippi that came in and disrupted the world. I'm not sure people expected you to place like you placed um, in 100 meters. I thought you would take first, personally. Um, but prior to that, you guys see each other. I know when you go into the starting blocks, there is no conversation, right? No. Not whatsoever, right? Not whatsoever. It, it, prior to the race is their conversation when you're warming up and everything is it a, the nod the head nod like yeah i'm about to smoke you nah that's what it is right <laughs> and, then, and then after you beat someone what is that like because then they gotta hug you and pretend like they're happy <laughs> fake hug <laughs> <you know? laughs> what's that like i mean i'm not sure what it's like for everyone else but if i hug someone i i, I sincerely mean it mm-hmm. i wouldn't hug anyone if i didn't mean it okay yeah do you, were you upset because one of the things about track and field, um, just like, you know, UFC is starting to experience as well, is um, um, drugs and, you know, people cheating and taking steroids or whatever to uh, give themselves an advantage. And I know the Russian team was under a lot of scrutiny um, um, this year. Um, how do you feel about that? And what kind of things you do to make sure you don't get caught up with it, too? I mean, I was always taught to just never take shortcuts. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't take shortcuts. Um, so I just know that I have to just put in the work. And as for everyone else, um, I mean, I think I think you saw this doing a much better job. Mm-hmm. You know, you saw this. The you know they're the people that come out and test us randomly. Mm-hmm. And um, I just try to I I just try to stay pretty positive mm-hmm. um about the entire situation because you know I don't feel like everyone's going to be clean I mean for sure um but I just try to stay pretty positive about the entire situation and mm-hmm. hope that whoever is cheating I just hope you know eventually they will get caught. Yeah, but can you look at an athlete and go, Nah, man, <laughs> she's on something. <laughs> so, come on, Tori. I know you looked at some girls and went, Damn, she's on something. Needle knees. I mean, I have, but that would just be me assuming. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you, you've you heard that quote before. Yeah, never assume. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. You don't make an ass out of Tori <laughs> right. or me. You know, uh, I totally get that. Um, Allison Felix, this, uh, she made history, you know, with mm-hmm. the amount of uh, gold medals that she's won as a, right. a female athlete. Um, 
is she more of a is she a mentor to you guys or what was the interaction like with her um she's extremely quiet um but actions speak louder than words Mm -hmm. you know i mean i feel like she's a she's a she's a legend for sure and um you know, she give us all something, you know, to look up to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Speaking of legends, was Flojo like the the bar? Because I think for us, like growing up watching Olympics and track and field, you saw her with the hair and the nails and mm-hmm. the fly ass leggings. Right. And it was just like, <laughs> yo, women didn't look like that before her coming out to do track. And now when you see the Olympians and stuff like that, look at your nails. Like your nails are done. You get hit. Like it's, it's flying now. Is that because of... Um, Flo Joe, would you say? Um, I for sure feel like she's she made that statement, mm-hmm. and I yeah, and I feel like everyone is living up to it. But it's for me. Um, I think even if I wasn't running track, I would still yeah yeah have, just handle my nails the yeah. same way. Yeah, because yeah. I absolutely <laughs> love my nails. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and my hair. So yeah, yeah, I got you. So so how do you peel off the um, men? You know, because uh, they they look at you guys. You're in the best shape of any human being on the planet. You know, a lot of dudes, like friends I know, were just watching the uh, the, the games just to look at the women in their little ass outfits. You know, mm-hmm. how, how do you <laughs> <laughs> little ass outfit? <laughs> how do you uh, like? Do you have time for a social life? You get a chance to date? Unfortunately, no. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have you know a friend or whatever, and. You know, like that we like we don't get to you know go out as often. Mm-hmm. So right now I'm just focusing on myself, and you know, um, I think I have plenty of time for that later. Okay, <laughs> hey, right. remember that scene in Baby Boy with Melvin was naked cooking the eggs. Imagine if Tory boyfriend she woke up he was naked with her medals on. <laughs> <laughs> cooking eggs. <laughs> Frying bacon. And be like, come on, you want some poor bread and some bacon? All naked with her medals on. I'm sorry, Tory. My mind just yeah, that's, that's, that's what you funny. thought of right now, Heather. That's what it's just, just you know, Tory Melvin. boyfriend with the medals. Tory with Melvin. And you talking about cooking breakfast. So yeah, I'm like Swear, you should feel me, Sway. You ain't gotta feel me, Sway. Okay, nah, I didn't I didn't really pay attention to that scene. Um, <laughs> that scene went right by me. <laughs> yeah, I remember that ass. Yeah, yeah he had ass. Uh, Melvin ass was fat. Uh. <laughs> Big Ray, right. Okay, we got Evan on the line from Plainsboro, Mississippi. What up, Evan? Good morning. How you doing? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. It's Waynesboro, Mississippi. Oh, Waynesboro. My bad. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Thank you for having me. It's the first time uh, getting through. Thank you for all y'all do on your show. I appreciate it. Um, but I'd like to tell Tori, thank you so much for representing Mississippi the way you do. Wow, we put out a lot of good folks from artists like Robert Johnson to Walter Payton. So happy you're on the list as uh, one of the world's greatest yeah. and uh, Southern Miss to the top. So, so they missed to the top. To Thank you. <laughs> missed to the top, huh? That's dope. My crooked letter. Um, how's that? Like, you got a lot of people who know you now. How you handling the fame? What's it been like for you? It's different, huh? Oh, yeah, it's different. I think it's going to take a lot of getting used to. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting as a child, a lot of us grow up and wonder what it'll be like to be famous, to be a celebrity, and, and now you're walking in that. You like it? Like I said, mm. I respect it. You respect it. I mean, it. because, you know, like I've talked to my manager about it. I'm like, oh, my God, what have I gotten myself into? And mm. she was like, this is just, this is what you asked for. Yeah. You know, mm. you, 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 you've, done, you've done your job and you've done a great job. And this just comes along with it. So this is just something that I'm going to have to learn how to deal with and just, you know, be grateful for it. Okay. So how do you make a livelihood from this point to the next Olympics? It's just they, they pay you guys to go to track meets and you get sponsorships. Right. Have, have you picked up any new sponsorships since the Olympics? Not yet, um, but I mean, we're getting a lot of phone calls. Yeah, so yeah, a lot of opportunities. So in the near future, yeah, I should have some new sponsorships. Yeah, like Under Armour or, or yeah. uh, Gatorade or Gatorade, Gatorade. Somebody who would you like to work with? Well, I always wanted to work with Coca Cola. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow. Okay. So we'll see what can happen. And, you yeah. know, I, I mean, I um. I'm already sponsored by Adidas, so 
by Adidas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're my they're my major sponsor. Okay. Yeah. So Adidas are your folks. So oh yeah, that's my family. You yeah. get free Yeezys. They're my family. She got, <laughs> she got on those Yeezys. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, oh, no, well, no. actually, right now I have on some Y threes. Oh, some Y threes. Yeah. And then you need the core Revlon. You need nail polish. Do nails and stuff like that. Put out mm-hmm. your own line since you love nails. Right. We need that. Rob, what you want to say, man? Nah, man, I just wanted to say that um, in, in, in addition to the... <laughs> yeah, you had a jing, jing, bling, bling, bling. Jingling. Uh-huh. You hear that? You hear that? Yeah. Those are the gold the medals. So, you know, in addition to her athleticism, she's also a up-and-coming model, and she walked into two shows in, during Fashion Week here in New York. And, oh, wow. Uh, yes. So, I see um, that. Yes. Me too. Wow. So all, you know, all the beauty and cosmetic, hair care products, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get us, it. Get know, it at. Okay. We'd love to have conversations. Revlon. Go straight to the top. Who, who, Revlon. That's all right. it. Okay. <laughs> who, who did you walk for? I did Telfar Show uh-huh. and Badetta Henley. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. You blowing up now, kid. <laughs> yeah. You going to have to move out that house. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to Pharrell Williams, too. So he's got some, some amazing um, new projects that's coming down the pipeline, yeah. which we, oh, we're, yeah. we're talking about getting involved with. And um, G Star? excited about that. So, Ooh. The G Star line? Some good things. Some good things coming. You rap? I do not rap, but Pharrell is coming out with a new campaign, and he want me to be the face of it. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. And what a beautiful face you have. That'll yeah. be great. That's yeah. going to be a great campaign. I'm happy for you, Tori. That's dope. Yep. Same here. Do, okay, so um, the next goal in terms of track and field is what? When do you start training again? Officially in November. Okay. And then you train for what? World Championships? The lead up to the World Championships? Right. Okay, I remember when I used to train. Um, so <laughs> get those was, ribbons. That was always the goal. Um, okay, how do you? You know, a lot of we would. Who, who did we have here? Michelle Carter came by yesterday. Mm-hmm. Shot yeah. putter, um, and we were talking about. You know, she has to watch everything that anybody gives her in terms of food or drink or whatever. You have to be on alert for that too. Like you can't just take a cup of water or. Of course, but that's not just in track. I'm pretty sure we all do that. Uh, we oh, yeah. <laughs> we, have, we well, have to be aware. Yeah, to Sway's point, she was saying, and I think you slightly mentioned it, that they can call her. I don't know the, the committee any time. Like, you could get a call right now and say someone is coming to test you, like right here, and you have to take a test. Is that true? To test your urine and your blood and everything like that to make sure you Yes. Sick? Wow. wow. Yes, they could show up right here, right now. Well, this is actually someone who works with the... Um... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 I'm about to say no. I just got tested last week. <laughs> That's funny. I know, right? <laughs> On my way to New York, actually, they uh, was knocking at my door as I was uh, leaving out for the airport. So yeah, yeah, six a.m. and they tested wow. you. Oh yeah, you were negative. Of course. Of course you were. <laughs> All right. Damn, you uh. can't say I'm gonna be late for my flight or none of that. You just have to stop what you're doing. Well, if you say you're late for a flight, they'll be like, oh, okay, well, I'll follow you to the airport. And we can oh. do it at the airport. Yeah. So that's basically how Got that to. works. Yeah, it's big business, man. And people are cheating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Constantly getting away with it. They got drugs that are hard to detect. Yeah. So and they get better and better. So mm-hmm. they got to be more and more on point. Right. You know, I was tested once or twice back in my day, wow. too. That's right, Swag. <laughs> they couldn't believe how fast I was running. So they tested me, Tori. Glory so days. Yeah, man. Anyway. <laughs> I went into entertainment, so here I am. But uh, we got this game we do, and it's called, DB, The Battle of the Best. We want you to play it with us. You're rich, you're famous, and you're probably pretty good at what you do. I'm going to show you how great I am. But we want to know who you would pick between the greatest matchups of all All time. time. It's The Battle of the Best on Sway in the morning. All right. Oh, it's good. We put a bunch of the best female athletes, Olympic track act, athletes of all time, based on my memory. And we want to see you to pick pick two of them and tell us who you think uh, was the most imp- the best out of the two. Oh, my. So you put me on the spot. That was, but they're all great. They're all great. <laughs> yeah. They're all great. Yeah. So, it's, you know, it's just a, a matter of opinion. Who would you want to run against the least? <laughs> you know. This lady. Okay. <laughs> Who was that? So Who's... I pulled out Florence. Okay. So yeah, Flojo. And then Flojo Flo up jo- against. Flojo up against. Jackie Joyner. Mm, wow. Damn. They're both amazing. Yeah. That's a good ass. <laughs> that's a wow. Matchup. Sheesh. Oh my gosh. But, you know, I think I'd rather run against Jackie. Um, okay. Because <laughs> yeah. Jackie was more of 
a jumper. Although mm-hmm. she has medal in, you know, several events, but she her main event was more, you know, long jumping. Okay. So I'd rather run against Jackie for sure. Now your your personal best in long jump is what about twenty two twenty two nine or nine yeah, and a half? You're close. Something like that? Yeah. Your mine's a twenty three five. How? You a jumper now too? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody said that. Nobody. You never talk. Did you call your sister again? I'll call my brother. How far did you Boy, triple jump? Um, like 4211. So right at 43 feet. Yeah, mine was about 44. Oh, <laughs> all right. Is there any proof of that? Like a newspaper? Evidence. <laughs> I could make a call. You know, you pick your next go two. Ahead, Hold Tori. Up. Go ahead, Go ahead, go ahead, Tori. Pick your next two. <laughs> 44 and a long jump. Who you got, Tori? Evelyn Ashford. Familiar, right? Are you familiar? Huh? Jamaican? Jamaica? Is she from she's Jamaica? From, she's from here. She, she ran here. Evelyn oh, Ashford. really? Yeah, she was, uh, she held the world record in 100 meters. I watched her. Yeah. Okay. She was quick. <gasps> Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Mm. Mm. That's a good one. <laughs> Who would you run, rather run against? Well, I run against Shelly. Um, I run against her a few times. So I'll just choose Evelyn. Evelyn. Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. Evelyn asked, but that's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> make that call, though, Sway. You want me to make that call? Okay. Right. Oh, okay. All right. Hold on. Let me see if you <laughs> don't get distracted. Yeah, don't get distracted. Okay. Wilma Rudolph. Wow. I went deep on that one. I don't know if people know who Wilma Rudolph is. I don't are. know much about Wilma. Okay. She was I considered don't. the fastest woman in the world back in the day. And Elaine Thompson. Mm. I'm pretty sure Wilma isn't faster than Elaine. <laughs> okay. Wow. Right. So you're going to go yeah. with... So you'd rather run against Wilma than Elaine? Basically. Okay. All right. That's <laughs> got you. Hey, I ain't mad at that. Thank you, Tori. Hey, Tori Bowie, ladies and gentlemen, Olympic champion mm-hmm. here. I'm going to call... I'm going to call... Before I let you go, I'm going to see if my brother picks up. You know, he he ran track, too. So let's see what happens. If, if he'll pick up, Tori, you know, my whole family ran because... <laughs> family of athletes you know doesn't look like my brother's gonna pick up heather call your mama <laughs> <laughs> we need proof of this i i, 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 bought, I bought everything i i can't buy the long jump i, I you know we, 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 we got time to do this Rob, go check. yeah we got time yeah, we got. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. You could have chimed in. And like, said, I, Tori, we we he played basketball allegedly, <laughs> football allegedly. You know, he did bring a track coach here, but nobody mentioned. Hey. That, <laughs> they said the hurdle, so mm-hmm. we give him a hurdle credit. But now it's he added more stuff. Yesterday he was a shot putter too. <laughs> I shot put it, Tori. I was pretty good at shot put. He called the sister for verification for I'm that. I'm going to call my cousin Chuck right now. <laughs> Chuck, really Chuck, Chuck. Chuck, Chuck ran for UCLA. He jumped against Carl Lewis. Another one of my family members. Hang out with me, Tori. Hold up. <laughs> Nobody's picking up. <laughs> Chuck, what up, man? You live on the air, man. Before you say, huh? Right back on this other phone. Answer this number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sway related to niggas too. <laughs> all right, right back, Chuck. Call right back. We're live on the air, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's that nigga shit. Okay, all right. <laughs> Yo, who you with, Sway? Call me. I'm gonna call you on this phone. <laughs> See, that oh might have been God. the phone VH one paying for. He'll know. We had to call you from a different. Uh, this is the number. phone they're playing. They, play, they actually do pay for this one. Let's see if Chuck calls back. Anyway, do you have a family full of athletes like mine, Tori? <laughs> I do. You do. Mm-hmm. Your sister does she run? She used to. She okay. told me she was over it, so she's um in law school now. She's in law school. Great. Wow. Okay, and then you also had a cousin that was there too. Was it a who was in the stands with your sister? Well, yeah, I had a cousin that was there. Uh-huh. Um, well, he hasn't run in forever. He hasn't run since high school. He's a veteran. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. They they celebrated bigger than uh, you did when you would win. Of course, the yeah. entire time. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna happen. Chuck's not calling back. <laughs> oh, there goes. Okay, hold on. Hey, Chuck. Okay, Chuck. I got Tori Bowie in here. Can you hear me, Chuck? He said, "Hold on." Yeah, now I can. Okay, I got you know Tori Bowie from the uh, Olympic team, the fem- women's Olympic team. Hey, yeah, the Tori. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck, we live on air. She's in here. Oh Niggas. <laughs> I told you, this is going to be great. 
Congratulations. Damn, Chuck. Thank you. Say, say hi to Chuck. Hi, Chuck. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> hey, Chuck. Congratulations to you, too. Thank you. Yeah. Well, just to put it in perspective, Chuck ran for UCLA back in the day, and um, he competed against Carl Lewis and different athletes of that caliber. Mm -hmm. um, Chuck, uh, you know Heather is in here hating again on my um, <laughs> on my Olympic what up, Chuck? on my <laughs> on, on my Olympic trail to uh, to uh, to the gold until it was cut short with hip hop. Um, Chuck, can you let Heather know what I was an OEO champion in in Oakland? Which events in track and field? Oh yeah, triple jump. You was um, long jump. It was hurdle J. Tori, get, check my hand, Tori. Just wow, you here. did them all? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> all right, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, exactly. Um, our thing back then, because I got to see, um, as I evolved, we didn't have no coaching when we were younger. Yeah. We would have been to, we would have had better coaching, it would have been a different story. I wound up with John, John Smith, so I could You know John Smith? Coach of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was our coach. Yeah, I was dealing with Henry, with Danny, Mike Marsh, um, Steve Lewis, with them. So we had good coaching. I got to see it. Honey didn't have nothing. Okay, hey, Chuck, we live on there, man. Okay, <laughs> All right, Chuck. Hey, okay, Chuck. So um, I'll holler at you later, okay? All right, man. Later, Chuck. Okay, Tori, right. Tori said later, Chuck. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. All right, cool, man. Give me a round of applause, Wendy. You said, you said, come on, man. Tori, right. give, me the, give me the medal. Give me the medal. <laughs> nah, yo, I need to be wearing the medal right now. Wow. I need to be wearing the medal right now. Oh, my right gosh. Tori, hold up, hold up. Tori, can you present me with the medal, Tori? Wow. I'm going to present it. He had three categories. He had three categories. Hold up, hold up. Okay, hold up. Get the medals. I want Tori to put the medals on me. <laughs> Crazy, can you videotape? What am I doing here? Okay, uh, it's, okay. it's a little complicated. Yeah, but your medals changed since I was winning them. <laughs> yeah, you Where's your phone, Sway? Huh? Where's my phone? Okay, hold on. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> thank you, Tori. Thank you. Okay, I got to do it again. Okay, hold on. Let me Snapchat this moment. I don't care if we're live on the air. I'm, this is the citizens. Oh, wait until again. you see this <laughs> and how it's going down. Tori Bowie's presenting Sway with three medals from the three categories. He uh, got verification from some dude named Chuck. 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 Out in the bay. <laughs> so we got to go by that as proof. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Sway. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Wow. I just lived out my Olympic dream. Thank you. Tori, thank you. Oh, thanks for coming by the show. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for having me. I hope you me. enjoyed it. Um, yeah. But congratulations to you. You are an a, a amazing, beautiful example of, um, to me, the American dream. Yeah, you know, man. for you to face adversity and come through on top like you have. And I could tell by your spirit, you have a lot of humility, a lot of respect, uh, respect and discipline. Hold on, man. These medals are loud, yo. <laughs> uh, but... Continue success. And when you win some more medals in the next four years, please come back and see us, okay? For sure. And if you're in New York prior to that, maybe modeling or doing a Revlon commercial or yes. <laughs> shooting a Coca-Cola commercial, come say hi. I got you. All right? To All right. Tori, you're officially a citizen. That's way in the morning. All right. That's For what's real. up. We got Celebrity oh, Wire up next. She left you hanging, Heather. All right. We got <laughs> Celebrity Wire up next. <laughs> yeah, yo. Lil Wayne is talking about if he's retiring or not. It's Sway in the morning only on Shea 45. Kilo.